Manchester, a warm welcome to the Etihad. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Crystal Palace. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. De Bruyne. Now Walker. Phillips. Foden. And now it's Phillips. Can he finish? And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, opting for the short corner. Walker. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Not the pass he had in mind. And he's in. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Lovely first touch, that wasn't easy. And the ball back with Crystal Palace now. Jean-Philippe Mateta. On to Mateta. Are you? He read the situation defensively and did his job. No worries for the keeper. Walker. Phillips. Mares in the advanced position. But will they be able to produce? Gallagher. Wilfred Zaha. Are you? He can't hold on to it. And thumped away. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Grealish. Holland. Phil Foden now. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. How can they make one of these passes count? Erling Holland. Wilfried Zaha. Jordan, are you here? It might be. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Now sending it in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. This attack looks highly promising. Crossing possibilities. Mitchell. Schlup. Struggling to get it away. And it's come off the keeper. Threat over for now, it seems. 
Well, that save just about keeps them in this. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Well read to put an end to that attack. Foden. Holland. Foden. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Disappointing for Palace to give it away in that fashion. Placed into the danger zone. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Foden. It's a promising City move. Grealish. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Almost at half time, and Manchester City facing a deficit. Stuart, interested to get your take as regards their first half performance. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner, foiling them effectively. Foden, now Maris, and that's what they needed, Manchester City, a goal to level matters here. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Schlup. Now with Mateta. Keeping the ball moving. Zaha. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Walker. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. Might be able to get in behind the defence, but really sticking to the task defensively. Holland, chance to do damage. Through ball from De Bruyne. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Jeffrey Schlup. The ball with Jordan Ayew. Not a good pass. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
But I think it's fair to say Riyad Mahrez acquitted himself well in the first half. Stuart, what did you make of him? Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle. So, back in business here. City with the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. De Bruyne. And now it's Phillips. Foden. Not showing good patience. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Joao Cancelo. Phil Foden now. Back to Holland. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Mares! And still an opportunity. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Mares! And the keeper throws himself at the ball. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Put in by De Bruyne. And the problem not completely solved. And possession given away. De Bruyne. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Laporte. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. And reading it absolutely superbly. Over the touchline for a throw-in. A change in the offing for City. Phillips. City could be onto something. Phillips, keeping it moving dynamically. Kevin De Bruyne. And players waiting in the centre. Calvin Phillips, showing considerable guile. Teammates in the middle. Simple save, really. Oh, great vision. But in fact, he's taken up an offside position. Oh, that's frustrating. He just took too long to see the pass. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number 23, Calvin Phillips, to be replaced by number 16, Rodri.
Joao Cancelo. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. De Bruyne. It's Bernardo Silva. Brilliant save. Cutting the ball back. Well, wide by a hair's breadth. Almost had it where he wanted it. Kuyate. The ball with Jordan Ayu. He has time to play it over. Illegal play and hence a free kick. And they will make the change now. And an effective clearance. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, visionary passing. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. De Bruyne. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time, the midfielder completely dominated the game, and the front player's movement has been excellent. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And the pass could do damage. My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was, one for his own highlights reel. <laughs> Going short. Mares has someone to play it to, putting his body on the line. High quality defending. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, that could be the final warning. Well, he needs to be careful now. Next foul, and it's a card. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Anderson. And the keeper can gather. Silva. Kevin De Bruyne. 
The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne. Rodri. Well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, Manchester City dominant. Manchester City excellent. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Now, what can they do from here? And a poor ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, it petered out. Klein. Benteke. Top class defending. Rodri. De Bruyne. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Wilfried Zaha. MacArthur now. A very effective challenge put in. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. MacArthur. Terrific block. Did well to win the ball back. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Crossing into the middle. No nonsense clearance. Well, there's the final whistle, and Manchester City have come out on top in this game. Your verdict? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Kevin De Bruyne, incisive and influential. How would you sum up what you saw from the Belgian? Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.